Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Monday where every Monday I post a new video. In today's video we're going to be making a gnome secret hider. So um, what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need any type of um, container you have, jar, you can use a mason jar, you can use a peanut butter jar, you can use anything that you have that's got a lid. Um, also, you're going to be needing some faux fur. Um, I'm going to be using um, some materials that I have here for the clothes for my gnome. I have a wooden bead that I am going to be using for his nose. And um, I have my little shoes here that I've already made. And if you've been here with me for a while, you know that each time I made a gnome, I've done how I made the shoes. So I won't be doing that one. Um, you're going to need some... Uh, felt or any color felt of your choice. I'm going to be using a uh, peach felt for his nose and you're going to be needing scissors and um, hot glue. So uh, yeah, uh, basically I use the scissors to cut a little U shape into his little beard. So I am going to go ahead and turn the camera down so we can jump into the video. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I am going to go ahead and take this little piece of uh, fabric that I have here and I am just going to use this at this little fabric that I have here I am going to go ahead and just use this as my gnome shirt so basically I'm just going to take this and slide it onto the little jar and you want to glue it on just under the rim because you don't want to put the you want to be able to get the lid on and off. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my lid on for now and I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm just going to go around the edge of the shirt. And this is just going to help it stick into place. So all I'm doing now is just taking my glue and just going around and if you are a kid and you are going to be making this, please get adult supervision when working with anything sharp or hot. And there we have that and the lid still comes off and on. There we go. That's glued into place. So now that we have that glued on, we're going to go ahead and take care of the bottom. And I'm just going to trim off a bit of the uh, fabric. I don't want too much to be overlapped when I get ready to glue it down. So there we have this. I'm going to go ahead and trim off a bit over here. So just like that. Once again, I'm going to grab my hot glue gun. And we're just going to go ahead and put... A little bit of hot glue right down in the middle and then we're just going to glue this down I'm going to go ahead and go all the way around like this I'm going to go all the way around I'm going to glue this here pop this And I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue down in the middle, like that. And you can even take an extra piece and cover the bottom if you like. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I'm not going to cover mine because nobody's going to see it but me. So I'm, I'm just going to take some of the strands off. So um, I'm going to lay this here and I'm going to take my little nose. Then I'm going to take my peach color felt and we're just going to go ahead, put a little bit of hot glue right down in the middle. Just like this. We're going to go ahead, pop that down, and then I'm just going to cover it. Just like this. And then we're just going to pull this. And I'm just going to hold this here. And I'm going to take my scissors and we're just going to cut off the extra. And 
and I'm just trimming it up because I want this part I want to have a little flat opening here like that so I can just glue this down so I'm gonna go ahead and put his nose about here and I'm just gonna put it directly on the bead and then I'm just gonna push this right here and I'm gonna hold it here for a bit give this time to dry and while that's drying I'm gonna take this and put that there and now I'm going to take my faux fur and we just gonna go all the way around I'm gonna try to move this up a bit there we go just move that up a little and then I'm gonna take my beard and we just gonna put this just like this so it's like that so we have that there I'm gonna go ahead take some hot glue and put it right on the back like this we're gonna hold this here like that and I am gonna go ahead push this here pop this here pull it up and connect the two also making sure not to get any glue on the lid because if you glue that down you're not going to be able to turn it and get it off so there's that and this is what it's looking like now I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to go ahead and put the shoes where I want them to be so once again I'm just going to go ahead and go around the shoe I'm going to pick where I want this. I'm going to put this about here, like that. And we're going to do the same thing to the other. Just go around. And I do have, uh, if you can't find the baby shower shoes at your local Dollar Tree, I do have other videos up on a um, another way you can make shoes if you don't if you don't have them if you can't find them for any reason you can use cardboard and I have several different videos of showing different ways of how to do it so this is what it's looking like so far next I'm gonna take this little um, piece here and I'm just gonna glue this directly onto the rim so you are just gonna go ahead and take this piece and glue it right on to the lid you don't want to uh, go over too much so I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue and we are just gonna go ahead and glue this down so holding it there I'm just gonna put this here just like this I'm gonna let that dry a bit and uh, we're just gonna continue to go around and up so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this here like this and I'm just gonna pull this down so it goes over a bit but not yet I don't want it to be glued because otherwise we won't be able to move the lid and you want to be able to be able to put the lid on and off because if you can't put it on and off you can't really hide anything in it so let's grab another glue stick and we're gonna go ahead and pop this on like this and I'm gonna double this up right here and we're just gonna hold this here like this I'm gonna grab a little bit of hot glue we're gonna go ahead and close this here and I cannot stand these little glue strands they drive me absolutely crazy and now I'm gonna take this part here And I think I'm going to 
put some hot glue. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue right down through here. And I'm just going to push this up together like that. Put a little bit of glue right in here and right here. We're going to hold that a bit and let that dry. And now that we have that, I'm going to go ahead and attach that right here. So put some hot glue like that. We're going to go ahead and push that down. And we're going to hold this here a bit and let that dry. And once it's dry, you would be able to take the lid on and off. But I'm just going to hold this here a bit more. Just giving it time to dry completely. And once it's dry, you can take your lid off. And you can put it back on. And that is it. I'm going to go ahead and turn my camera back up so y'all can see me. And once again, here it is. And here's another one that I made. If you, let me fix this. If you like this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love for you to become part of my YouTube family. And with that being said, thank you so, so much for taking the time out of your day to watch one of my videos. I really appreciate it. And with that being said, I hope you all have a nice night. Bye.